Hey y'all, back again. Two more Halloween DIYs. These are really easy. And I think, yep, everything from these is all from the Dollar Tree. I hope you like them. Okay, DIY number one is with these little bitty skulls from Dollar Tree. I got a bag, two bags of them, and some lights. And I didn't even notice till my husband mentioned it that they're not LED. So I'm going to keep an eye on it make sure it don't get too hot. But all I did was drill holes in the top of their little heads. <laughs> so I could stick the lights in them. Real easy. Well, I had to go back and re-drill the hole a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. But it wasn't hard at all. Went out to my husband's shop to do it. So that's why this these videos first parts from my phone. <laughs> Had to call him several times to figure out how to do the drill because I forgot. But I got it. There they go. I just showing you the little hole I put in her head. <laughs> and here I was putting the lights into their little heads. After I got them all alone, I realized that I didn't have enough skulls for the lights. I thought I would, but I don't know, I didn't. So at the end, I ended up doing a skull on every other light, and I think it still looks cool. You'll see it here in a minute. I'm trying to get stuff ready for our camping trip at Halloween. And I know I should be doing Christmas already, the rest of y'all are, but I'm a little slow. I'll get there. Okay, almost got them all on there. I hope my campsite looks pretty. I think it will. And that's where I realized what I had to do. <laughs> so I go back and see. It looks pretty cool still. I think. I like it. What do y'all think? <laughs> they light up pretty good. It'll look cute somewhere at the campsite. DIY number two. These are two bigger skulls. Oh, I did. I forgot. I'm sorry. These are from Home Depot. My husband saw these and got me a bag of them. I only ended up using two, but I think it had five in it. But I'm going to make these into solar lights. And I don't know if I got the stake to stick them in the ground, so I may just have to zip tie them at the end of the camper. But I'm going to use them anyway. And I did the same thing. Just drill holes in the top of their heads. <laughs> Told my brother and sister and them that I was doing little lobotomies today. <laughs> These skulls here are really cool. Of course, they cost a lot more than Dollar Tree skull too. But anyway, this ends up looking pretty good. I did part of this one outside and then I'll come in and finish it. Had to drill that hole a little bit bigger too. I'm just watering it out there with a the drill a little bit. But then it works. So, all's well ends well, right? <laughs> I'm fixing to show y'all how it fit. There we go. Alright, now we're back in the house. And my lights work pretty good. I just set them outside for a little bit, but they was already lit before I did that when I took the little thingy out. And here I put it in the hole, and then I realized it has some plastic burrs, so I took me some sandpaper and sand them off to make it smoother. That helped out. Got me a new hot gun. Got a gorilla one. And some of that glue that y'all talk about. So, that gun works a lot better than that little bitty one I had. They look cool just like that. Without the steak. I just hot glued them things on. I held them for a while. 
And I thought they stuck good, but I still ended up having to put glue around on the outside too to reinforce it. But then they're sticking good now. They ain't come off yet, and I've been handling them a lot. And there you go. Show you all what they look like. Ain't them skulls cool? <laughs> and now I'm going to hot glue the steak part to the bottom. Easy peasy. This glue comes out so much faster than that little bitty gun I had. That's kind of cool. And I like that I have a high and a low temperature setting. I didn't have that before. Just hold it on there. And I'm still having trouble finding out where my camera is evidently. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get better at it. <laughs> but you can see what I'm doing. See? There you go. <laughs> uh, you can see him anyway. They look cool. I should have made that top part into little hats because that's what it sort of looks like. Had too much hot glue, looked ugly, so I decided to put some of this stuff around it. I don't know that it looks any better, but at least it covers the hot glue. <laughs> I like it better anyhow. These was really easy. They didn't take too long at all. I had to fiddle with it and get it just right. And just glue it on there. Nothing to it. If I can figure out how to put them in the ground, I will. But if I can't, I'll just put them on the camper at the end. Anyway... Thank y'all for watching, and if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe. I got a few more subscribers, thank you so much. Now I have some pictures at the end here, but I'm almost done with this part. And then I do the other one, I don't show y'all that. I had to give him a haircut, because all those strings... I think they look cool. I sure do appreciate y'all watching my videos. <laughs> there he is. Okay. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.